Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your November the 16th spiritual principle of day in a meditation. Let's go ahead and get into that meditation. Let me read that to you. The title, Resilience Keeps Us Coming Back. It's never too late to start over, reconnect with the fellowship, work steps, have a spiritual awakening, and find a new way to live. That comes from the Living Clean book, The Preface. For many of us in active addiction, starting over from scratch was practically a lifestyle choice. Things got tough, we owed back rent, our relationships or jobs got in the way of our drug use, and we're gone. We were gone. We got a new place, a new job, and someone new to put up with our crap. Some of us carried that behavior into NA. Instead of staying clean through snags and early recovery, we'd press the reset button and clear the board. Day one again, we'd change road dogs, sponsors, and home groups. This wasn't the healthiest or most spiritual way to be resilient, but that was our strategy to survive and bounce back from conflict and hardship. Still, we keep coming back. When we get some time in NA, starting over might look like, look very different, excuse me. Many of us will hit major low points in our lives. But when we stay close to N.A., we can immediately turn to step one, not day one, when our life becomes unmanageable. Others of us accumulate years of clean time and are so busy being functional that we don't realize how isolated we are from N.A. We haven't relapsed, but our recovery has all but flatlined. I woke up today and realized that it was my 25th clean time anniversary. And I don't even remember the last time I marked the occasion. A member shared, I came today because I didn't even know I was miserable. I thought maybe I should use so that I could come back to meetings. Though I'm embarrassed about how long it's been, I'm grateful my next thought was, just go to a meeting and start over. How do we come back when we haven't really left? Instead of pulling the plug on our program, we can jumpstart it. We may feel some regret at taking NA for granted, but we are back and can keep coming back. It doesn't matter when we start over or why. It only matters that we do. How close am I to the fellowship today? I will remember that I can push the recovery reset button anytime, but don't have to throw a grenade in order to start fresh. Let's take a moment of silence, followed by the wee version of Serenity Prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom know the difference just for today please and thank you resilience keeps us coming back so it feels like to me that we're talking here about those individuals that have stopped going to meetings have stopped interacting with recovering persons maybe don't even have a sponsor anymore. They're still clean, 
They're the ones that people talk about all the time, the old timers that only show up for their clean time. In this instance, um, the person hadn't acknowledged their clean time in years. And I think I, I, I think I understand what that's about. There's times that, uh, well, I have a home group meeting, right? I have a home group meeting that is hybrid. So we meet in person and on Zoom. However, I also have an older, right, home group, the one that I started with. And for, well, I kind of want to protect everyone's anonymity. So I just don't make that meeting like I used to, if at all, right? I just don't make it if at all, and I certainly haven't gone to celebrate my clean time there in well over. I've been there to celebrate other people's clean time, but I haven't gone to celebrate my clean time there in years. And I won't say too many. I don't, I don't ever see myself going back there to celebrate my clean time, quite honestly. Um, but that I'm still involved, right? I'm still at meetings. I'm still sponsoring. I'm still being sponsored. I'm still active. But there's some people that just aren't active at all and they're ashamed. They, they, they don't plan to go back. They want to, but they don't want to hear everybody's mouth about where you've been. Ah, oh, man, I can't even believe the last time I saw you at a meeting. It, what, 10 years? Right, people are very heartless. Instead of saying, wow, I'm so glad to see you. In the back of their head, they're probably thinking, have you relapsed, right? Is that why we haven't seen you? You used to be such an integral force of this particular media and you're just out of here, right? Haven't seen you. They want to ask that question, but they generally speaking will not because that's something personal. You know, the individual can talk about a relapse and coming back and resurrendering if they want to. But there's a lot of people that I know that do get a white key tag to surrender to the program of Narcotics Anonymous. Not that they've picked up at all. They just stop coming. And they want to submit in their mind, I'm going to do different this time, right? So if you are in a meeting of what this is what I want you to do. I want you to, if this isn't you, then the other, the flip side of this coin, the flip side of this meditation is for you to scope out those people that haven't been in a while. And if they're receptive to a hug, give them a hug and welcome them back. It's so good to see you. Huh. Man, you don't know how good I am to see you. Let them see how happy that makes you to see them sitting in the same rooms of recovery as you. That's all you got to do. You don't have to have a long term. Well, you can apply the, you know, the suggestions of the just for today meditation that I just gave, right? Ask them how they're doing, listening to what they say, and then make sure you do it again so that they understand that you're not going anywhere. You're serious about how they're doing and wanting to fellowship with them. Listen, my name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose.